you want to know more about it? In what way? Why? You said you're doing not. You said I like nobody. Well, you, you have to forgive us. It seems strange that you, you come back and ask again. Well, I, I asked one of y'all to come up, and nobody you, you didn't hear me or you ignored me. I don't know. Uh, oh well. Uh, what, what, what do you what do you what do you want? I mean, okay. What is an audit? In this case, it's a public service audit, right? So the purpose is to see if law enforcement officers are capable of following the law. Okay, which is pretty simple in this case. We, you know, we're allowed to open carry. That's pretty well known now, and we're obviously allowed to stand on a public easement and, and film anything we can see from a public space. Absolutely. And now, this is partially an audit to see how 911 dispatchers handle that call because if they relay false information, you know, we can find that out through a FOIA, Absolutely. and you know, and that helps retrain the 911 operators when they find out, oh, well, you know, look, now we're YouTube famous or something like that because someone made a mistake. And then they're like, oh, well, we need to fix that. Well, it's the same case here. They, you know, they now realize that, you know, between airport police and Romulus police, there are 10 vehicles out here for lawful activity. Someone's going to realize that that's not an effective way to spend effort on law enforcement. So, and, and, and you know, when, and when it's when we write stories about it, because we, we can write articles and publish things. When, when we when we do that, it gets the message out that, hey, look, you know, this is not acceptable. This needs to be changed. And typically, when we have this kind of reaction and we come back, you know, with, with all these vehicles, the second time we come back, it's always better. It's always, okay, well, we know we, we can't mess with them. People just, you know, the cops will just drive by and wave at us. And we like that. That's what the point is. No one wants to be hassled by police. Well, no. So. Uh, we got got a lot of deer out here. You would not be, you'd be surprised at the amount of size of deer we got back in here. We call time back here. Yeah. So, right. And like I said, we've got, we got to call some of those vessels more offensive. Right. And, and that obviously sounds extremely different than what's really going on. But you know, when 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 uh, when we have law enforcement officers, whether they're metro, whether they're airport police, or whether they're uh, Romulus, they're coming up and they're saying, "Well, you have to give us ID, and you you have to you, you can't stay here, and we're detaining you." That's obviously all completely. Like the sergeant told me three different times, so he's gonna arrest me for this. I mean, how does this create a disturbance? You know, I mean, I know the people are right. I mean, people are have a you know a strong aversion to guns these days and I'm when they you know right. you're, you're not one of them you handle guns daily you're around guns you know about gun safety you're educated on that matter so like to the, you it's like the, so. well yeah i would hold so yeah you're right <laughs> let's give you the benefit of the doubt but, but the other you know, thing is that you know, we appreciate that you had the wherewithal to park on the easement yourself you know, you're not blocking traffic right now for this purpose, you know? And if they had wanted to have a more friendly conversation where they approach us like a human being, like you're doing, then it sends a message that, okay, these guys, maybe we can share information and maybe we're all on the same side here. When they all swarm up, it says, okay, yeah, like, you know. We got, we got guns in an airfield here. Yeah. The fence will not just mess with the fence get you, right? Yeah, no, we, am, we understand that, so. Yeah, and that's the thing. We're not going to do anything illegal to the point where we get jailed. Because number one, we don't want to lose any of our equipment or our, our weapons. Number two, we don't want to deal with it. You know? We don't want to deal with lawsuits and all that crap down the road because that's what happens. You know? I mean, yeah. We're not I, here to make money and sue. We're here to, like you said, to do an audit and to make sure that our tax dollars are being spent properly. You know, because we pay. You know, anyone, I don't know how you guys are paid, but therefore, maybe through the airport, I'm not sure, but I'm glad it's anyone else that's law enforcement. It's from the tax people. Right. We're paying for we get that paid service. by, by uh, aircraft departures. Okay. So, so airport operating expenses. So you're more of a private entity, but still you're well, actually you're we're a government entity. The entity, but but funded semi-privately. <laughs> you haven't talked to me. Yeah, no, I mean I, I, I we're, we're, we're not. No, I, I get you. That makes sense. You just sense, know yeah. that your law enforcement. We're doing an audit. And, uh, it was failed. Not very business. Right. You know. I mean, like, you know, coming up and wanting to ask questions is one thing, but threatening arrest is, you know, completely different. Uh, that falls into the, you know, 60% and below. I still got these long ass arms. I got to arrest them on something. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, uh, if that's it, then you have a good day, sir. Fine, I got to, got to do it. See, so we gave you guys a little bit of excitement. You know? We were bored. You had nothing to do. Great. <laughs> Sarge likes paperwork, obviously, because he wants to create some uh, recipe. You know, that, that's the whole thing. We want to we want to illustrate that too, the, the the bluff and intimidation tactics that are used by law enforcement on the citizenry. You know, I mean, like most people would just go, oh, okay, 
you know, oh, threat of arrest, I'm out of here. But we don't really care, to be honest. We're, we're, we've already have in our mind that we're willing to go to jail if necessary, you know, just to prove our point. And that's that's the whole thing. I mean, yeah, kind of a three percent. I, we don't like that label, but that's right. but that's fine. We'll roll with sure. that. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, uh, a lot a lot of people like us, and a lot of people we know fall in that category for sure. We're, we're freedom loving people. And, and today's you know, today we see a lot of a lot of freedom being eroded, and people giving up those rights voluntarily. And you know, when you when you trade freedom for security, you can do it either. Would have been Oliver Ben Franklin said it, but that's based, that's along the lines of that. You know? Most people yeah. just are willing to give up. Roll right? over. over. Roll over, you know? I mean, it's yeah. like you gotta come at something harder than arrest, because that's whatever. Let's go. You know? It's gonna end it's gonna end bad for whoever arrests us. And, and to be honest, anyone involved in that arrest, you know, I mean everybody there is, is culpable and, and responsible for that action. You know, I mean and that's the thing I've been I really want to associate with you know that that type of organization who doesn't care. Whatever. We're gonna do whatever we want, we're the law, no rules, and that, that's not what law enforcement is supposed to be. It's supposed to be protecting the public and not enslaving and harassing. Yeah, I, I got a question for you. What's with the with, with this? With what? Oh y'all flipping flipping down. Uh, yeah, they're off with it. Oh, oh no, that was for the camera. Uh, that was for his camera. Uh, that was for that bully driving around. Yeah, just just that one guy. Yeah, because you know, because we don't we don't hate each individual police officer individually. I mean, that's stupid, obviously. But we what we are fundamentally opposed to is monopolized police. You know, police that are controlled by a state monopoly. Because if you know your economics, a yeah, monopoly is more expensive, is less likely to provide a quality service. Because there's no incentive. Because there's only one of them. Now, in a, in an imaginary world, you're starting to make my head swim. <laughs> it's all right, but. But uh, what do you got there? Oh, this is a this is a, this oh this is a, an AR-15 in Adam's arms. Yeah, I mean it's an Adam's yeah, arms. Adam's yeah, so it's a gas piston. A gas piston arms. Yeah, I like it. But and and I'm sure you're also wondering yeah, the the open carry. You know, it, no, no, I know, but you're, you're probably, it's still probably a question in your head, you know, why? Why is this part of the audit? Well, it's because when we're surrounded by police like that, you know, it's, yeah, they're, they're less likely to cost us when... What's going on with cops getting shot? I'm not interested in taking my hand off a weapon. Oh, no. You know, only a, what was it, 136 officers died last year. I think 80, 80 of those were traffic fatalities, you know, about traffic stops. So the other 50, but then if you look at the numbers, the people, unarmed people killed by police, we're talking four to 500 people. So I mean, we're, we have more to fear than I think that you guys do. I think that you guys have an exaggerated fear of, of being shot, and, you know, people have to get the police, because there really aren't too many documented cases. Last week there was the guy, is that? Well, it goes right yeah. 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 I mean, come on. You know? See, here's the. This, this will protect me against 308. I don't know yeah, the truth. Yeah, 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 500. Yours is probably 2A. Two, two or uh, the one I got. Yeah, see, that doesn't look like mine's like that. This is this will protect me from my family. any any incoming threat. I mean, no yeah, one's got a BMG. You, you don't have any Kevlar in there. Uh, uh, no three hundred eight won't go through. No, no, not three hundred eight. Uh, three hundred wind mag will go through. Wind mag, yeah, yeah, like butter. Yep. But I don't know too many people that. You know, yeah. Yeah. I don't see yeah who who just carries teams. one of those around? <laughs> right. That's a lot. Of, that's yeah, a lot. Of that thing, I tell you. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys. Uh, All right, for, officer. For, yeah, explain an audit to me. No, yeah. we, we appreciate being able to have this conversation. Yeah. So, you take it easy, sir. Absolutely. Take right. care, have a Exactly. They're like, you know what, you were the most, they, they seem to like you the most. Go, go, back, go back and get some intel. Yeah.